there's no better way to grow your community than to start a membership website. However, creating a membership website can be costly, especially if you're just a new business starting out. So what to do? Well, this tutorial guide is the perfect guide for you because I'm going to show you exactly how you can create a free membership website using WordPress and a free plugin. So follow the step-by-step -step tutorial guides and come back and let me know how you went. To create our membership website, we are going to be using the free version of Paid Membership Pro. Now Paid Membership Pro is a complete WordPress membership plugin which allows you to manage member subscriptions, take recurring payments, and create a membership website. Now, of course, Paid Membership Pro does have paid tiers of their plugin, but for this tutorial guide, I'm just going to be using the free version, which I think is perfectly fine. So just to show you, this is their website, paidmembershipspro.com, so you can go have a look there and see what they offer for their up-level tiered membership plugin. Here you can see Paid Membership Pro in the WordPress repository and this goes into you know the details of the plugin, the reviews, you can see how many active installs and the great thing is it has been updated a day ago which is always something super important to look at when installing a plugin on your website. Okay so let's dive into installing and setting up the free version of Paid Membership Pro. I've got a test website set up here, so I'm going to navigate to plugins, I'm going to click on add new, and I'm going to type in Paid Membership Pro into the search plugins box. Once I've typed that in, I am going to click enter, and then I am going to click on Paid Memberships Pro and click on install now. Okay, so once that has been installed, we are going to click on activate. Okay, great. Now we can see memberships on the left hand side here. We can see our dashboard members, orders, reports, settings, and add ons. And then if you do have a paid version, this is where you are going to put in the license key. Here on the right hand side, we are going to see the membership pro dashboard so this is the initial setup and some other settings scrolling down we can see our sales and revenue our recent members recent orders um, some news from paid membership pro membership stats views etc um, you can of course move these around as you want um, depending on what you want to see first so the first thing we are going to do is to create a membership level if, for example, you are selling a membership and you have two different tiers, you will create two different membership levels um, and those will be different pricing and will, of course, have different content. Click on here where it says create a membership level and we are going to type in the name of your membership level. So let's call it level one. Then you are going to pop in the description here of your membership and your confirmation message here and this will come on your confirmation email so when someone signs up they will get this in their inbox so you can pop in that message there um, then you've got your initial payments so when they first sign up to your membership how much are they paying is it a recurring subscription so let's say for example it's ten dollars um, and it is a recurring subscription, so you can check that. Then uh, the billing amount is $10 a month. If it is ongoing, what you're going to do is you're going to pop in a zero here. And if you want to have, say, a custom trial period, so you have a subscription, if they sign up, they get seven days free, you can click on this and you can do a trial billing amount. So you have your custom trial period, um, and maybe the first month is free, so you do um, $0 and that's for the first subscription. You can also use this handy add-on, which is called Subscription Delays Add-on. So that means you can do um, that is $0 for seven days and after seven days, they start paying for the membership. Okay, so scrolling down, you can disable new signups. So if you rather want to add them manually, you can do so. Um, and you can also set a membership expiration date. So um, if 
want it to expire at a certain date, you can do so and you can say um, it expires on a certain date or after so many days, etc. Then the last thing is the content settings. So non-members will not see posts in this category. So if you have a certain category of posts or pages, then you can tick this and those people in this membership level will not be able to see those categories. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click save level. And once you save this level, you can see it's level one, self-love club, billing details are $10 a month, after your initial payment and your first payment will cost zero dollars okay so i'm going to go back and just change that because i don't want it to be zero dollars so we just come here we remove our custom trial period and we click save level again and then we can see that is ten dollars a month so now that we have our membership level set up, the next tab we're going to look at is actually the payment gateway and SSL certificate. So this is where we are going to set um, how we're going to take payments. So what payment portal we're going to use. We are also going to check which currency and what cards are used, etc. Okay, so payment gateway is for testing purposes, but um, paid membership pro takes Stripe. PayPal Express, PayPal Check, um, you've got Braintree payments as well, which is part of PayPal, um, and some other ones there. So if you do want something like PayFast or any others, then if you come to plugins here, you will be able to find a plugin for that. So let's have a look. So we're going to come to plugins. We're going to click on add new, enter. And as we can see, we've got Paid Membership Pro, Pay Fast, Gateway Add-on. We can click Install, and once it has installed, we can click Activate. So we click Activate. Okay, so we're going to come back to Memberships here and just come back to our dashboard. And in our dashboard, we're going to go to Settings, and we're going to go to Paid Payment Gateway and SSL. Okay, so this is the Payment Gateway, and now we will see Pay Fast in here. So to link PayFast, we click on PayFast here and let's keep it, um, we can do live production. And what we need to do is we need to go to our PayFast website and get our merchant ID and our merchant key. So when you go to your PayFast account, as soon as you log in, you will see your merchant ID and your merchant key as soon as you log into the account. So you're just gonna copy those and paste them into Paid Membership Pro. Okay, so the next question they're asking is debug mode. You can keep that off and you will need a passphrase for recurring subscriptions. So to do that, you're going to come to your PayFast account. You're going to come to settings and you're going to come to integration. Under integration, you will have a security passphrase and you can copy that and you can paste that in there. The next question is your currency and tax settings. So if you have tax settings, you'll pop them in there. And payment, we are looking at South African rands. And you're forcing your SSL. I'm not going to force an SSL on this website because I haven't paid for one. But um, in terms of security of your members, you do want to purchase an SSL certificate from your host provider and then force SSL um, settings here. So once you're done, you click Save Settings and your payment gateway has been set up. Okay, so the next thing that you want to do is you want to create all the pages for your membership website. So we're gonna click on Pages here and we are going to generate the pages for me. So this is your account page, your billing information page, your council page, etc., etc. There's quite a couple of pages like logging in, etc. So if I now look at the levels page, I can have a look. So click view page. And of course, this is in line with whatever theme you have installed. So that's all displays a bit crazy on my website. I am using Beaver Builder. So if I click on Beaver Builder, that will then bring that in so it looks a bit better. Done, click publish. That's just with Beaver Builder, so you don't need to worry about that. But basically, you can now see this is level one, self-love club. You can select that. Um, and basically, you I'm just going to Beaver Builder this again. Um, so you've selected this. You can see the description of the membership. That's what I kind of wrote. 
Um, and then you've got the price of the membership, which is $10 a month. And then you can submit it and you can check out. And what's going to happen is then it's going to um, go to, uh, you see, the reason why that's not working is because the merchant is unable to receive payments from the same account. So if I logged out, let's have a look here, we copy that, go to a new incognito window, we paste and we go, there we go. And then if I start creating a username, we submit and we check out. And there we go, it goes into PayFast and I can pay with my credit card and pay 10 Rand or whatever it is for the subscription. So the initial amount is 10 Rand and future recurring amounts is 10 Rand. Okay, so now that we have set up our membership levels, we have set up payments, we've checked that it works, it's working fine. Now it's to actually create the content for our self-love club. So let me close these windows and come to pages. So you can create pages or you can create posts, whatever you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add new because I am going to create a um, page that has the video and the content for the up and coming months. So let's say for example, it's all about, um, I don't know, self love for August. Then when you are in this page and creating the content, you're going to see something new down below in the bottom right and it says require membership. So if I tick this box, then people need to have um, signed up for my self love club level one in order to see this specific page. So I can publish this page. If I go back to my pages and I view the self love August, I can see I'm not a member. Um, the content is for the level one members only, and then I can join. So no one will be able to see this unless I click select and I sign up for the self love club. So if you go back to your dashboard, and you've come to posts and you add a new blog post, you can also add blog posts to your self love club and those will then show up and people who signed up will be able to, to view the content that you have created. The thing I wanna show you is just some of the pages that Membership Pro does offer. So if we come to memberships here, go to dashboard and then if we click on manage membership pages, then what I want to look at is your confirmation page. So let's have a look. So once someone signs up, they will get this and they will be notified that a welcome email will be sent to them. So to manage those welcome emails and to change them around, um, there is another plugin that you can use to amend them. However, I think this is a paid plugin, so just double check that. Um, but what you can do is you can edit this page, whether you do it with Beaver Builder or doing it with the Blocks Editor. If I click on Edit Page, let's use the Standard Editor. You'll then see there's a bit of short code and that short code gets the information that was already on the page before. So I can in here, add another block. So let's just add some paragraph text and type in here, like I can type in a welcome message and I can put in links to, you know, whatever I want. And then I can update this and I can view the page. And there we go. So I can type in here, whatever. I can move this around. So this can be kind of a mini welcome page. And then you can also amend a welcome page after people log in. You can do with Paid Membership Pro is you can manually add people to your membership platform. So if you go to users here on the left hand side, you can then add a new user here or edit a current user. So if you click on edit, and you scroll all the way down to kind of the bottom here, you will see a membership level here and you can change the current level to level one. That gives people access to the content. Um, you can set when it expires as well. So maybe on a specific date, if you only want to give them access for a certain amount of time and you can send the user an email about the change 
and then you simply click update profile. And I wanna show you the login page. So currently this is what it looks like. So someone will come in here and they will type in their username or their email address, and then they will pop in the password and click log in. Once they log in, they'll come to this page, which is their membership account. Um, so this is kind of your welcome page, and this is the page that I highly recommend. You go in and you amend, and you could put in welcome to the self-love club and these are the things that I am offering you and then people can click from there. So let's have a look at that. So we go to membership dashboard. We go to our membership pages and it is the account page that we're looking at. So view the page here. Let me just be able to that. So it moves in. So this is what we are working with. But let's use Beaver Builder. We can put in a text box here that says, welcome. Um, you. And it's just an easy way so that when people log in, they can find what they need. This is the account page. So you do want to kind of keep this here. So if people want to cancel, they can cancel at any time. And then I can click done and I can click publish. And now if I go back to my membership page, this is what it's going to look like. And people can quickly and easily find the content that they need as soon as they have logged into your membership website.